Good morning, folks. Tony here from Rebel Financial. Thanks for joining us. So the Senate approved a stimulus package on Friday or Saturday into the night and pretty close to what the House did with some differences. Uh, but it looks like the House is pretty much just going to uh, approve that as well. So let me give you the highlights here. So everybody that's eligible is going to get a $1,400 check, and that goes for everybody in the family. Um, the single person, it's 75 and under, phasing out at 80. And for married um, jointly, it's going to be 150,000 phasing out at 160. So above 160, you're not going to get anything. Unemployment has seen a couple of changes. Through early September, there's going to be $300 weekly boost to those. So that's um, the one of them. The other one is anybody who does their taxes for the first time after collecting unemployment learns that you get taxed on that money. Well, for now, for the first $10,200, that money is going to be tax free. And it, say, it does say for 2020, I've yet to see direction on that because I've already filed some, some taxes of folks that um, had that unemployment. So we'll see if we go back and, and change that or what's going to happen. I don't know at this point. Uh, the child tax credit. So it is currently $2,000 and it's for below 17. So here are the changes. For children five and under, you're gonna get $3,600. And then below 18, the rest of the children will be $3,000. So number one, an increase in the dollar amount and a bigger boost five and under, and they've included now the age of 17. Probably should have always had that since most 17 year olds are at home still anyway. Uh, there's been money given to the Affordable Care Act to help lower uh, insurance premiums there. So that's something else. The child independent care tax, that is going to be increased and expanded a little bit. Don't have the specifics on that. And even the earned income credit will be expanded for those without children. So not sure exactly what that is at this point, uh, but we're gonna know, learn more about that. And then to fight the corona, uh, coronavirus, local governments, state governments will be seeing more money that will come from this as well. What is not in there is nothing about minimum wage. In fact, it's not in there intentionally because it was voted down. With that in there, the bill was not getting passed in the Senate. There was a few senators on the Democratic side that wanted it out of that bill. So that's what's gonna take place. So in almost all likelihood, it won't be 15 bucks an hour now or in the next few years um, based on the bill anyway. So anyway, that's it. If you have any questions or any comments, please feel free to mention it below. Otherwise, thanks for tuning in. Subscribe if you get a chance, like the video, if this was good information for you, all right? Thanks, take care.